Coming up on today's Before You Travel News Update, a FedEx Boeing 767 has a very rough landing. The California to Las Vegas high-speed rail finally breaks ground. Southwest is closing operations at four airports. Find out where and why. All that and more, so let's jump right in. Our top story, a FedEx Boeing 767 cargo plane had a very rough landing at Istanbul Airport on Wednesday. The front landing gear failed to open, causing the nose of the plane to scrape across the runway. No one was injured, but many are questioning the safety measures behind maintaining these planes. Just two weeks ago, a separate Boeing 767, a Delta flight from JFK to LAX, was also forced to have an emergency landing back at JFK Airport due to the emergency slide falling off shortly after takeoff. The plane turned out to be 34 years old. According to specialists, an aircraft is generally operable for an average of 30 years before being decommissioned. For all you burger-loving Canadians, Shake Shack is opening its very first location in Canada this year. They plan on opening Shake Shacks nationwide across Canada, with the first flagship location in downtown Toronto. The new Toronto location is set to open this summer. The long-awaited California to Las Vegas high-speed rail officially broke ground in late April. The Brightline West high-speed rail project was recently awarded $3 billion in funding and will be constructed within the median of the I-15 freeway. Reaching speeds of 200 miles per hour, the Brightline West will turn a four-hour car ride into a two-hour high-speed train trip. The rail is projected to open in the summer of 2028. Southwest has announced that they will be closing operations in four different airports this August. Southwest Airlines reported a net loss of $231 million in the first quarter of the year. Their immediate goal for the upcoming months is to reduce cost and enhance customer experience. In an attempt to achieve this, Southwest plans to stop operations at four different airports and cut 2,000 employees from their workforce by the end of 2024. The airline is closing operations at Cozumel International Airport in Mexico, Syracuse Hancock International Airport in New York, Bellingham International Airport in Washington State, and George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. April proved to be a very good month for two lucky players in Las Vegas. Two big wins were reported in April, making both winners instant millionaires just days apart. The first player won just short of a $1.2 million jackpot in mid-April, playing a slot machine at the Mirage. Just a few days later, another slot machine player turned a $7 bet into an incredible $1.1 million at the Golden Nugget Casino. Want to take the whole family on vacation without breaking the bank? Well, we found a great deal from Hilton to help families get some more bang for their buck. Four Hilton properties in Mexico are currently offering kids and teens stay free. For a limited time, kids and teens 17 and under can stay and eat for free at four of Hilton's most spectacular all-inclusive properties in Mexico, including Cancun, Tulum, and Puerto Vallarta. Airbnb has just released several new icon experiences. Airbnb icons is a newer rental category that gives guests the chance to stay in some of the world's most iconic homes. Previous popular icon experiences you may remember seeing included Barbie's Malibu Dream House, Shrek's Swamp, and the Home Alone Holiday House. Some of the new experiences released this month include the X-Mansion from X-Men, the house from Pixar's Up, a Purple Rain Prince house, and a Ferrari museum. New icons get released throughout the year, but only a few lucky people get selected for these once-in-a-lifetime experiences. That's it for today's Before You Travel News update. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.